So, Peter, you're here in Dublin to tell us about creating profitable wine lists. Profitable wine lists are great, but tell me, what role does training play? Training is vital, I think, because putting a wine list together is, is a skill, but it's not that hard, even though people pay me to do it, I have to admit that. The, the truth is that training is vital because most customers don't know much about wine. They're a bit scared of wine, and you want staff who can talk about wine knowledgeably, but also in, in normal language, not in a pretentious way, but just talk about wine with enthusiasm. And also I think training should encompass not just product knowledge, but ways of, of selling wine and ways of talking about wine and, and ways of enhancing the customer experience. So for me, I would say that the most important thing I can do for any of my clients actually is training. Great. And um, if there's somebody in-house to do that, do you think it's better that somebody in-house does it or let the supplier do it? I think there's room for both approaches. Quite often I say to people, let me set up a training program. So I will perhaps run a training session once a month. I will encourage them to have suppliers run a training session on a regular basis, perhaps once a month, once a fortnight. I will encourage them to do something in-house, so somebody in management can do a session and even perhaps sometimes get a member of staff to present a wine, take ownership of the wine and research it and then say, right, this is, the, this, is this wine, I like this wine, this is why I sell it. And I think that combination keeps it fresh, keeps interest going and actually gives you um, a good training program. But implementation is really important, it's easy to talk about it, but to actually do it is the secret. Thanks Peter, sounds good. Great.